What's going on guys? It's Chris and we're back doing the dang thing. So today is crazy water change day. And what that means is we're changing tons of fish tanks water. And this brings up a very great question of water dechlorinators. You know, a lot of people ask me about which water dechlorinator I use. And the common question is Seachem Prime versus Seachem Safe and what is the difference? So Let's go over to the sink and I wanna show you guys what I personally use and what the difference is between these two products of Seachem Safe and Seachem Prime. So when we're talking water changes, we need to go over to the aquarium sink. Chances are you might be using an aquarium water changer. That's not how I do it. What I do is I just throw a little pump inside of a Tupperware that pushes the water from the hose into the fish tank and I use gravity to remove the water. That's not what we're talking about though. And by the way, this is my six foot aquarium. It is a crayfish tank. It's a goldfish tank, a guppy tank. It's a cold water dwelling aquarium. So back to topic here, Seachem Safe versus Seachem Prime. And I'm gonna shut off this water here for a sec, just so you can hear me. By the way, if you wanna steal this idea, go ahead and do so. It's a great idea because aquarium water changes hook up to your faucet, but what happens is when they're pulling water, they're actually wasting a lot of water. Anyhow, Seachem Safe versus Seachem Prime. The main difference is Seachem Safe treats a lot more water. Let's look at the directions here. It says, um, use a quarter teaspoon for every 300 gallons. And I'm trying to find how much water this uses as a whole. It's like 10 times the amount though. Um, essentially, Seachem Safe is a lot more potent of a product than Seachem Prime. So a quarter teaspoon of this powder treats 300 gallons. So as you can imagine, if you have a lot of water changes or a lot of aquariums, this is gonna be a much cheaper route. And secondly, Prime is mainly used for smaller aquariums. The directions for this state, use one capful, which is five milliliters for every 50 gallons. And, uh, oh, it says right here, this treats 5,000 gallons. So what does this one treat? This one treats 60,000 gallons. So um, if you're going on price, Seachem Safe is going to be a better option every day of the week. And if you're asking me what I use, it's going to be Seachem Safe. It's essentially the same product as Seachem Prime. Um, I think this was released earlier and this kind of blew up as a staple in the hobby. And then this was later introduced and people are like, oh wow. Uh, it's a lot, it's, it's a cheaper route to go. So I highly advise you go Seachem Safe. It is my favorite water dechlorinator. People always ask me, are there other dechlorinators on the market? Of course there are. There's all kinds of other dechlorinators. We have Fritz Complete. This is a full spectrum water conditioner. We have a uh, stress coat. This is a water conditioner removes chlorine and chloramine. So there are tons of different products to use on the market. Uh, you gotta be careful though. A lot of these products are sort of trash and I don't advise you buy them. Seachem Safe and Seachem Prime, staples of the hobby. Um, but here's the thing, most aquarium water dechlorinators like Safe and Prime, they all do the same thing. So it's just that Seachem has kind of gotten their foothold as being like the staple and the best one to go with. It also detoxifies ammonia temporarily. Um, I don't know, it's, I use Seachem Safe. It's as simple as that. Here's my office looking grand as always. Um, the tanks are kind of a hot mess right now. I just did a water change on this tank down here. I gotta put this cover back on. We use these covers in here just because um, I do a lot of podcasts in here and videos, and we get a lot of like light refraction. This is a rack that holds six 20 gallon aquariums. I really love it. Just built this tank, this rack here. This holds six 10 gallon tanks. As you can see, I love racking. So that's 320s over there. I love aquarium racking. We're also working on a paludarium build up here. So Check out my main channel if that interests you. Paladariums are super sick. I love them. 
And also today we're going to be testing a product. Both of these nano aquariums leak, right? So the only thing would be to reseal them with silicone. But I want to test something new and I want to try to reseal them with spray foam. What are you doing? What are you doing, crazy kitty? So some of you might know as a product called Great Stuff. It's for pond and stone. I'm gonna attempt to reseal these aquariums using this pond stuff or great stuff. So if this stuff interests you, fish tanks and house plants are my lifestyle. So please subscribe to the channel or hit up my main channel, Palmer Aquatics. I have so many different projects, it's crazy. This house plant shelf, I just built it. You can leave your house plants in there, water them, and it auto drains to the side there into a five gallon bucket. It's crazy, right? Sorry about that. You probably heard the doorbell. Someone was coming to buy some plants and fish. So a lot of times, so many people are coming over that I just like forget they're coming to buy tanks, lids, plants, just all kinds of crazy stuff. So this water change is almost full. Um, what I try to do is I try to pull out water as I fill it. So, and I'll just let it run for like an hour. And it's, it's, a, it's a low flow and it's just like, uh, I feel like it's, that is like the best water change you could ask for a slow change of a 100% change throughout like three hours. Uh, but yeah, that's me. I'm sort of a cycle with this stuff. Um, but guys, Seachem Prime versus Seachem Safe. Safe is a cheaper option. Um, if you have a lot of aquariums, it's gonna be cheaper, but honestly, Seachem Prime is the same thing. So they're the same product. It's as simple as that. Hit up the comment section. Let me know if you like fish tanks. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps the cause around here. The reason I YouTube is to kind of like start up and kind of like pay for this store essentially that I'm building inside a house. It seems crazy, but I'm getting closer and closer there every single day. And I won't listen to the haters.